So what's up? So this is what's going on. My phone has been randomly shutting off. It's maybe a CPU thing, but also my phone has been full, like to the brim with memory of videos and videos and pictures and pictures, like 3,000 pictures in total, and videos and apps. I, I need to still remove the apps, but took everything off, put it in a folder, like my, pictures that aren't mine or that I saved, downloaded, or screenshots, and put it into a my backup folder, which is like saved pictures from my phone. And then I have the folder, which is like pictures I've taken on my phone. Put up, and I'm all there. Then my videos. I knew I had to upload them, so I put all the videos that I haven't uploaded into a folder called To Upload. Well, I guess I kept my computer on all night, and I guess when it goes into, like, its sleep mode, it just stops doing things. And I have 50 videos. That's 5-0. I bet I've had more before. But I'm making my bed, and here's the other dilemma. I'm making my bed like I pulled it out, and it's a mess. I took the pillow off. Right down there, where, like, the AC is plugged in. And my computer is. Since I have the AC, and the AC plug is big. Also, it's Monday. It's my day off again. Huh... <laughs> Um, if I hit that the wrong way, my computer will shut off and fuck this whole thing up. So let's say this didn't go to sleep mode. Right before I went to bed, I'm like keeping it up, keeping it on, so I can let them upload, go to bed 15 minutes later, it went to sleep mode and stopped the progress. Let's say that didn't happen, that this would have been uploaded, I wouldn't have to worry, but my computer, the where it's plugged in, is a bit rickety. If I move it the wrong way, this will shut off and fuck everything up. And then I'll have to go through what was up, go through the 20 videos that was uploaded and figure out, and then put those off to the side, then throw the rest in and do the naming thing where I do late August 15th and before 21 and 2 and name them like that. But right now, let's uh, put this up there. Coca-Cola vein, if I'm insane. Trip through memory lane. So I think I should have to make my bed in a covert ops way. I don't know. I'm home alone. My brother stayed over because my mom's like, he says it's too hot in his apartment. I'm like, what the fuck? That's not a problem. I guess he stayed over. My mom's friend is still here. She's just a blah blah blah. Drinking, drinking, drinking when the sundown comes along. Doesn't remember a thing. Uh, I can't wait to do this thing. I'm like, oh, Mom, why are you still talking? I know, like, they were good friends in high school. Or something like that. This video must be long. Well, it's going like 97, 98, 99. That's pretty fast. Processing.
most of the stuff I'm processing now. Usually when one goes goes to processing, the other one starts uploading. Okay. Okay, the other one's uploading nine minutes remaining. See? That's good. Yeah, I was listening to Vaporwave last night. What'd it do? Relax your I'm trying to carefully make my bed so I don't hit the card because it's all fluffy. Mike 10A. The other video is not processing. Processing finally. Mm -hmm. 
Let's uh look for the pillow I usually put there. The pillow. I don't know, my, it was given to my brother so he can just sleep on the couch. 85. Yeah, whatever. For now. Okay, so, today's going to be a productive, question mark? Tomorrow I'm expecting the bass cab to come in. Here's the story about the bass amp, the son of bass amp. Is that... So, first time around, I bought it, and it takes 24 hours for, it, for me to claim it, and like the, you know, the, what's it called, charges to go through. So, um, within that, I bought it, the timer's going, it's still on display in Guitar Center, pretty bullshit, I know, and then someone buys it, and got a refund, got instantly, of course. So another one, boom, recently posted the same amp. It has a fucking sticker posted on it on the front. Great condition. I'm like, good. I don't fucking care. Buy. It's $100 more. It's Sunday. So we have to wait until Monday. So I think at like 3. 3 today. 3 o'clock. Right now, my mother... And her friend is out, Chrissy, her name is Chris. Um, the thing with that is, no, oh, sorry. My mother and Chrissy were like, hey, we might go out shopping today. Uh, show her around some other places. Okay, uh, mm, do you feel tonsil stone? Weird, right? Sorry, vaporer. Vape error. Wow, vape. I don't know, I'm just... It's a mana pool. food what is food what is life what is my wife what is my wife thinking of my kids right now yo i'm a cow how now brown cow how now brown cow <laughs> i don't know so of course they gave me an sd card while i was there so let me put the sd card back in my regular camera my nikon one thing I have to improve with um, photography that I haven't learned is uh, the, the sweet spot with ISO settings. 
because since I don't have a bunch of bright lights, I have to work with like what I have in natural light. And when I did natural light, it was good. ISO was like made it a bit fuzzy. It was a bit high. Maybe one or two notches too high at like is that 400 or 800? I was I don't know when I looked at the preview. Of course, I'm like, yeah, that looks pretty good. But like, when I brought up on the computer, it was a bit grainy. Because I was getting some back lighting, ring lighting, so you got some nice silhouette. And you, But at the same time, if it was too low, it would just look dark here, and you'd see like this ring silhouette from like the light coming in. I'm going to see how long I can deal with this vaporwave until I figure out, figure out what I really want to listen to because, you know, for like a couple months now I just haven't been feeling a certain album. But I did want to listen to Prurient. P-R-U-I-E-N-T. Or P-R-U-R-I-N-T. The noise artist. I listened to Frozen Niagara Falls. Great, great idea. That was one of my recent great ideas. Then I remember yesterday, I was looking for my GoPro. I was looking for my GoPro. And yeah, like right before we left, I was like, fuck. And I was looking everywhere and I was like, I knew, know this was my camcorder bag. Fuck. I forget which album this is exactly, but it, like, somehow it made into a Rolling Stones, like, top albums, I think. Solar Panel Smile is the name of it. Far Side Virtual is the... Album name, hold on. It's James Ferrero. But yeah, I was looking for my... I knew this was my camcorder camera. I was looking for my GoPro, and then I looked in my bottom drawer. Not only did I find the camcorder itself and everything with it, and the tapes, but I found this hat. I don't know, I've never seen this before in my entire life until now, but it was in my bottom drawer. But I remember many months ago, my brother went to throw away a hat. It was a white and red baseball cap and it said side duck on it. And there's a side duck on it. With the letters as well. But the realization is like, my bet the camcorder bag's up there. But the everything that's supposed to be in it is down there. So I looked at my GoPro stuff. I, I guess I put it in here. Oh. And mesh. N-M-E-S-H Known to be one of the most <laughs> terrifying albums in Vapor Rave history. Ooh, let me get this magnet away from my camera. My name tag. Better. I was thinking, there are video games that kind of represent Vaporwave. People have made stuff out of in Unity. It's it's interesting. It's not fully there yet. I would like love some huge RPG that's Vaporwave styled and self-aware. Like you know, you walk. 
through like the streets of Hong Kong. And it's just one person. You can pick up followers on the way. this away. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> oh my god. Anything you want. Yo, Disconscious, Hologram Plaza? I don't know, I'm just out of it, I'm totally out of it. Ah, fuck. I mean, this is a great album. You know, might as well, might as well go all the way. Do you 
understand is all in your head. <laughs> I'm just a character, aren't I? But I did want to change my character. We can't go on. Understand, it's all in the head. I wish I knew where my burrs and shirt went. Vaporwave like inspired movie and it kind of being uh, inspired by Spring Breakers and you know I bet this has been done a bunch of times but it's like teenage kids find an abandoned mall abandoned place go in and like you know they're kind of you know, sipping on some lean or whatever. Ooh, you fucking spider. The movie, like, you know, abandoned mall, freshly abandoned, maybe, but they're like, whoa, they're just hanging out, getting to all this mischief in there, discover some strange thing, find, like, the three, three teens, they find a fourth, or, I mean, the fourth teenager, or whatever, like, they find, like, just walking around, they're like, they're like, holy shit, I think I saw someone else investigate, he's like, yo, what up, man? And like she's a bit disconnected, like uh, don't want to smoke, don't want to do anything, no thanks. Dressed very differently, like average. Yay! Oh. Let me. I haven't opened this. this is like two weeks old. This thing stuff. Purposely did that? Do that. I got an automated message, I guess. July 29th? Holy fuck. As part of our internal auditing process, we discovered that a fee schedule that you received between dates of November, twi November 5th, 2012 and July 15th, 2016 disclosed an incorrect fee amount for an international debit card transaction fee uh, that we posted to your account from November 5th 2012 to July 14th 2015 no fee was disclosed but your account was charged 1.1 of the transaction fee the issue has been resolved for this time frame and a credit for the full transaction of 12 cents has been made to your account 
And then the second half of the letter is the same thing that I just read to you, but a different incident. But don't worry. In a credit for the access charge of zero dollars and zero cents has been made back to your account. It's good. I'm, I'm glad. said oh shit because it's like the intro to the album it's your move i've made up my mind do you understand so Yo. What's up, sad boys? 2003. 1985. What's up? Do you understand? So. Let's get some food. Daddy. Your move. Why is it that there's a little Arizona iced tea that just is undrank from the bottom of the cans, even though I'm like, what? Yep, as I kill it off. How's our banana situation? How's our strawberry situation? Fuck, it's hard to tell. I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm, I should make a smoothie only if I have enough for, like, two servings. You know, where you put two bananas in and 16 strawberries. And 64 blueberries and two cups of yogurt and milk and four ice cubes. Square numbers, buddy. Talk about square numbers. <gasps> You're getting cozy, aren't you? Oh yeah, I didn't get to finish with my sales pitch on that Vaporwave movie. So, Mall getting high, getting fucked up, and they find a third person. That third person ends up being an android. I'm not joking with you when I say that shit. It's an android. They escape from a place from, I don't know, Hong Kong, let's say. Snuck onto a shipping crate, made it all the way here. Started running away from people that knew she was an android and knew she was dangerous. But she, all she wants is to feel love. She's getting these feelings. And then she kind of starts, one of them kind of discovers she's like an android. And then, I don't know, maybe she starts going crazy or some shit. Hey, comment. Comet, what are you doing down there? Let me investigate. Comet, you okay? You are never down here. What's wrong? Let me take these glasses off in this hat. So, it's just me.
You okay, Comet? You okay? Yeah, you're okay. Is it because that's cold? Or something? Hey, Comet. I got an idea. I got an idea. I have an idea. How about... I don't want to step on my own glasses. What if I do this for you, buddy? I don't know who opened all the windows. But, <laughs> it's reaching 90 degrees, so let me help you out, buddy. There you go, buddy. Comet. Hey, Comet. I need you to come here. Comet. Comet. Put the AC on, buddy, for you. I'll shut the fan off for you. Why? Because who the fuck keeps a fan on thinking that it creates cool air? Fans don't create cool air. It's just an illusion, you nigger. So what song is playing in my room? Make a move. I'm real hungry. Oh, twenty eight fourteen. It's Hong Kong Express and someone else making music, which I like that idea of like, I make vaporwave, a made-up genre that the internet made up. I'm making vaporwave as well, and two different, we perceive it in two separate ways. Let's collaborate. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and make an album that like, actually is getting the most attention in our, in this scene of vaporwave. Let's get vinyl release. Also, they came out with an album called uh, The Rain Temple, The Water Temple. <laughs> the, let me look it up. Cause I'm into it. Rain Temple.
What is this? Enmesh. Dream sequence. Dream sequence. Not sequence, but like... The shiny stuff. Sequence. I'm gonna go now. 42 minutes, holy 